Felix. That's Felix. Make his breath, Alexius. What have you done? He would have died, Dorian. I saved him. Please, don't hurt my son. I'll do anything you ask. Leliana, let Felix go. He's innocent. No one is innocent. Uh. No. No! Died, didn't he? All those lies he told himself, the justifications. He lost Felix long ago. He didn't even notice. Oh, Alexius. I know you cared for him. Once he was a man to whom I compared all others. 
Sad, isn't it? This is the same amulet he used before. I think it's the same one we made in Minrathus. That's a relief. Give me an hour to work out the spell he used, and I should be able to reopen the rift. An hour? That's impossible! You must go now! Not stay here. We'll hold the outer door. When they get past us, it'll be your turn. No, I won't let you commit suicide. Look at us. We're already dead. The only way we live is if this day never comes. Cast your spell. You have as much time as I have hours. Though darkness closes, I am shielded by flame. Andraste, guide me. Maker, take me to your side. You move, and we all die! You'll have to do better than that. Put aside all claim to Redcliffe, and we let you live. You won. There is no point extending this charade. Felix. It's going to be all right, Father. You'll die. Everyone dies. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Grand Enchanter, we'd like to discuss your abuse of our hospitality. Your Majesties, when we offered the Major Sanctuary, we did not give them the right to drive our people from their homes. King Alistair, Queen Anora, I assure you, we never intended... In light of your actions, good intentions are no longer enough. You and your followers have worn out your welcome. Leave Ferelden, or we'll be forced to make you leave. But... We have hundreds who need protection. Where will we go? I should point out that we did come here for mages to close the breach. And what are the terms of this arrangement? Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? They have lost all possible supporters. The Inquisition is their only remaining chance for freedom. No one fights well for their captors. It seems we have little choice but to accept whatever you offer. We would be honored to have you fight as allies at the Inquisition's side. A generous offer. But will the rest of the Inquisition honor it? The breach threatens all of Thedas. We cannot afford to be divided now. We can't fight it without you. Any chance of success requires your full support. It's a generous offer. I doubt you're going to get a better one from us. We accept. It would be madness not to. I will gather my people and ready them for the journey to Haven. The breach will be closed. 
You will not regret giving us this chance. It's not a matter for debate. There will be abominations among the mages, and we must be prepared. If we rescind the offer of an alliance, it makes the Inquisition appear incompetent at best, a tyrannical at worst. What were you thinking, turning mages loose with no oversight? The veil is torn open. We're not monsters. We can control ourselves without any outside help. This is not an issue of self-control. Even the strongest mages can be overcome by demons in conditions like these. Enough arguing. None of us were there. We cannot afford to second-guess our people. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the mages' aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. And here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. Closing the breach is all that matters. Closing the breach will require a lot of magic, and that means lyrium. I have contacts who can help. Contacts meaning smugglers? Send them word. We need every advantage. We have legitimate lyrium supply lines already. And they don't need to hear of this. Keep it under the table, and I'll do what I can to quiet rumors. We should look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tevinter cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark, after all. And I'd hope to sit out the assault on the breach. Take a nap. Maybe go for a walk. What is it they say? No rest for the wicked. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're... staying. Oh, didn't I mention? The south is so charming and rustic. I adore it to little pieces. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with. Future or present. Excellent choice. But let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to grant us victory. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the Fade? I've been to the Fade before. I'd know it. Point taken. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witnessed. I'm surprised you're not more interested in your own future. I know enough. If that future happened, then I, and Cassandra, Cullen and the rest, failed to stop this Elder One. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One? You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. 